Hello everyone, I'm Di Xintang, a postdoc at UC Berkeley. I will present our research, Resource Efficient Shared Query Execution via Exploiting Time Snackness. Scheduled queries over a stream of tuples are prevalent in today's database applications, such as maintaining dashboard reports for daily loaded data and regular ETL jobs. In many cases, scheduled queries are querying the same set of data, like analyzing the past 24 hours data at 6 a.m., but they have different deadlines, like QA needs to generate the report at 7 a.m., but QB's deadline is at a later time. Previous research showed that shared query execution can reduce CPU consumption by eliminating the redundant work across common sub expressions. But we find this is not always the case. For scheduled queries, shared query execution can even increase the CPU consumption because the shared plan needs to be executed eagerly to meet the earliest deadline. Therefore, we consider judiciously sharing queries to reduce CPU consumption while not missing the deadlines. This is particularly useful in today's paper use model where we can reduce users' monetary cost while providing the same quality of service. Now, let me explain why shared query execution can increase the CPU consumption. We represent the deadline of query at the latency goal, which is defined at the max allowed time when all data arrives and when the result is returned to users. One way to reduce query latency and meet the latency goal is to use incremental execution, where we can start the query early and incrementally incorporate new data into prior results. We can execute the query more eagerly to further reduce the query latency, which means we start every execution for a smaller amount of data. However, eager incremental execution can increase the total work or CPU consumption, although it decreases the query latency at the same time. Because incremental execution can remove prior output tuples and reduce wasted work. For example, eagerly maintaining this aggregate operator needs to repeatedly remove its prior output sum results, which increases CPU consumption. We find shared query execution can push the whole plan to execute more eagerly to meet the lowest latency goal, which offsets the benefit of shared execution. Consider this example QA and QB. They have two similar join plans with only a predicate sigma b different. Note that for the shared plan, the predicate sigma b star does not discard tuples, but allocate tuples that belong to QB. It is the sigma, uh, it is the sigma filtering during the actual filtering for QB. If we execute the two queries separately, QA is executed lazily due to its high latency goal, and QB does the opposite. If we share the two queries, we will execute the whole plan eagerly to meet the low latency goal of QB. There are two cases of overhead caused by the eager execution. First, some subplans have overly eager execution. For example, the subplan 2 of QA is executed more eagerly than it should be because QA has a high latency goal. This over-eager execution increases CPU consumption because its aggregate operator needs to repeatedly remove its prior output tuples. The second overhead is that the shared subplan will be executed eagerly for the combined data. For example, the subplan 1 needs to execute eagerly for all input data. If we execute the two queries separately, we can execute the subplan of QA lazily for QB, we only execute it eagerly for a small fraction of the input data due to the predicate sigma b. So the unshared case can even beat the shared solution in some cases. The root problem is that existing approaches do not exploit the time slackness across the diverse latency goals. We propose iShare to exploit the time slackness. It breaks the shared plan into subplans, assigns different subplans different execution frequencies and decide which queries should share the subplan. Our experiments are performed on TPCH benchmark. We show that if we execute all queries in single or in one batch, the shared execution has no execution time. However, if we introduce the randomized latency goals, we see that the shared execution does not prevail. iShare, on the other hand, has much lower CPU consumption or total execution time compared to both shared and no share baselines. To conclude, we propose iShare to judiciously share scheduled queries to reduce CPU consumption and meet the latency goals, 
Please find our long talk for more details. Thanks.